the new Moodstruck Brow Obsession Palette. I'm going to be working with a Brow Obsession Palette for blondes. This is our Brow Artist Brush. It comes with four colors in a wax, and the brush has two different ends, one that's angled and one that's flat. The palette is numbered in order of use, makes that really easy. I start with the flat end of the brush and I use number one to get started. I actually like this brush just because of the way that it's shaped, it helps me to give a better shape to my brows. I also feel like in using this palette, I'm using less product than I would when I'm using the pencil. I just keep filling in and shading as I go, using just that number one. I'm a little tentative first because I feel less is more, but you'll find your way as you play with it more. Once you've got that filled in enough, it doesn't have to be perfect just yet, go ahead and grab your next color, which is gonna be your darker shade. And that's number two. This is gonna go at the arch of your brow and the tail. Normally with a pencil, this is where I would go a little heavier with my pencil, also wasting more product. With this, it takes very little I'm noticing, and it gives me that emphasis right where I need it. And at this point, I would go back in and clean up anything, add where I need it. All right, this is looking pretty good. Now, it's time for us to start highlighting. When I go to highlight, the pink is like a matte pink. It looks like a flesh tone. I'm gonna go ahead and use that angled end and just go right up under there. This, I feel like, helps it look more natural. It gives me that natural line that I'm looking for. And you could really stop here if you preferred. I love how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the other highlighting color, which is like a sheer cream. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. This one I felt I was able to go and fix where my brows are bad right now. They need to be um, threaded. So I'm having to camouflage a lot of things and I'm noticing that with this highlighter, I can do that and make it look like it's perfect where it's not. Right there, I'm fixing that because they're so grown out. Much better. Now the wax. I really wasn't sure how to put this on, so I first tried my finger, that didn't work out, um, and then I just grabbed that flat end again of my brush and very sparingly added it to it. If you get too crazy with this, you're not gonna like the effect, so just be really light and apply it that way. It does keep them in place all day, so I really do appreciate that, and it helps when you have unruly brows right now that are grown out because they stick up and they get all which way. This will keep them in place for you. All right, let's brow check it. Everything's in the right place. We're good to go. The Moodstruck Obsession Palette comes with three different shades for $39. And you can find this on flossandfaces.com. Thanks so much for watching.